yes vaccination is the powerful weapon against bacterial and viral diseases more than 20 life threatening diseases can be prevented by vaccination which can help people of all ages live longer and healthier Already, I have discussed that there are various types of action, uh, various types of immunization processes, active and passive. We refer vaccination as the main immunization process. Vaccination currently prevents more than two to three million deaths every year by different types of diseases like diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, influenza measles and others vaccines are used against bacterial and viral diseases today i am going to present vaccine preventable bacterial diseases and their vaccines in my next lecture i will show you vaccine preventable viral diseases today i will show you only one table we will get to know most of the important information in short Let's start the presentation. From this table, you are going to know about vaccine preventable bacterial disease. Name of the bacteria responsible for them, mode of transmission, symptoms, severity associated with the diseases, name of the vaccines used against them, and types of those vaccines. Already I told you in my earlier video that there are different types of vaccines live attenuated, inactivated whole cell vaccine and inactivated subunit vaccines. Subunit vaccines are proteins, polysaccharide, conjugate and nucleic acid vaccines like DNA or mRNA vaccines. Example of protein vaccines are purified protein from natural sources, toxoid and recombinant proteins. There are seven columns in this table. First column is for diseases. There are mainly seven bacterial diseases against which vaccines have been developed and already in use. In the fifth column that is severity associated with the disease, it is mentioned that sometimes fatal. That means all of the diseases can cause death and obviously therefore vaccines are developed against them. Name of the disease, what I am going to discuss first is diphtheria. It is a highly contagious bacterial infection of nose and throat. It is caused by strains of Corynebacterium diphtheria which produce toxin. These bacteria usually spread from person to person through respiratory droplets like from coughing or sneezing. Symptoms are sore throat, fever, swollen lymph nodes and weakness. Severity associated with the disease, myocarditis or heart damage, neuritis or nerve damage and sometimes fatal. Myocarditis is an inflammation of the heart muscle which leads to heart failure, whereas neuritis is inflammation of nerve tissue, which results in damage of nerves. Vaccine used for uh, this disease uh, is DTAP. DTAP combines protection against diphtheria, tetanus, as well as pertussis. D is for diphtheria, T is for T A is for tetanus and P is for pertussis. Corynebacterium diphtheria produce toxins. Therefore, type of the vaccine developed against this bacteria is toxoid type. Tetanus is a serious infection caused by spore forming Clostridium tetany. They produce neurotoxin which affects the brain and nervous system. It leads to stiffness in the muscles. 
It is unique among the vaccine preventable diseases because it is not communicable disease. All the other diseases are transmitted from person to person so they are communicable. Mode of transmission, direct transfer of Clostridium tetanus spores from soil and excreta of animals and humans to wounds and cuts caused by dirty nails, knives, tools, wood splinters and animal bites. Symptoms are spasm of the jaw, spasm of the jaw muscles that is called lock jaw. Therefore, tetanus disease is also called as lock jaw disease followed by painful spasms of muscles in the face, neck, chest, abdomen, arms as well as in the legs. Severe muscle spasms and bone fractures, lock jaw, respiratory distress and sometimes fetal. These are the complications associated with tetanus. Vaccine DTAP is used for tetanus and type of vaccine that is toxoid because it Clostridium uh, tetany produce toxins. Therefore, DTAP uh, is used for tetanus as well as for diphtheria and both are toxic type vaccine. Pertussis is a respiratory illness commonly known as hoofing cough. It is contagious disease caused by botulinum pertussis. Mode of transmission: coughing and sneezing. Symptoms: severe coughing spasms, followed by a gasp for breath that sounds like a hoof. Therefore, it is called as hoofing cough. Severity: choking in young infants, refractures, ruptured blood vessels, and sometimes fatal. Vaccine used. DTAP. Two forms of pertussis vaccines are in use inactivated whole cell vaccine and a cellular, that is, purified protein subunit vaccine. Pneumococcal disease refers to any illness caused by pneumococcal bacteria like Streptococcus pneumoniae or which is also called as pneumococcus. These bacteria can cause many types of illness like pneumonia, which is a lung infection. Transmission occurs as a result of direct person-to-person -person contact via respiratory droplets like coughing and sneezing. Symptoms are fever, cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, stiff neck, confusion, increased sensitivity to light, joint pain, chills, ear pain, sleeplessness and irritability. Severity, hearing loss, brain damage, sometimes fatal. There are two forms of vaccines are used in case of pneumococcal disease. First one is pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine, PPSV23. That is 23 valid polysaccharide covering 23 serotypes. And second one is uh, the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, which is a protein conjugate. Already I discussed that, already I told that in my earlier video that protein conjugate is better than polysaccharide vaccines. Hemophilus influenzae type B disease or hip disease is caused by the bacteria Hemophilus influenzae. Mode of transmission is through air by coughing or sneezing while in close contact with others. In spite of the same type of name Haemophilus influenzae, they do not cause influenza or flu. Influenza is a viral infection. The symptoms of hip disease are based on where the infection is found in blood, in the brain or in the lungs. Symptoms associated with the blood infection or sepsis are fever, confusion, headaches and body aches, whereas in case of brain infection, symptoms include fever, severe headaches, changes in behavior and a stiff neck and back. There may be complications like deafness, seizures, paralysis and brain damage. Symptoms associated with lung infection suffer from fever, difficulty in breathing and 
cough severity associated with this disease are meningitis or brain damage pneumonia skin bone and throat infections arthritis and sometimes fatal two types of vaccines are used for hemophilus influenzae type b vaccine that is called hib and types are polysaccharide and protein conjugate vaccines meningococcal disease refers to any illness caused by bacteria neisseria meningitis that is also known as meningococcus mode of transmission person to person through droplets of respiratory or throat secretions from carriers smoking close and prolonged contact symptoms of fever change in behavior loss of appetite vomiting sore muscles and joints and stiff neck severity permanent brain damage that is meningitis seizures blood poisoning deafness respiratory distress organ failure and sometimes fatal 6 of 12 known sero groups account for the majority of epidemics worldwide those are a b c x y and w there are two types of vaccines for uh, meningococcal disease those are polysaccharide and protein conjugate vaccines men p a c y w 135 which is a quadrivalent polysaccharide meningococcal vaccine men a c w y d that is quadrivalent meningococcal polysaccharide protein conjugate vaccine using diphtheria toxin as carrier protein whereas monovalent sero group a conjugate vaccine p s a t t it is a lyophilized vaccine of purified meningococcal a polysaccharide covalently bound to tetanus toxoid t t is for tetanus toxoid which acts as a carrier protein tuberculosis or tb is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis mode of transmission air in droplets when a person with pulmonary tb coughs sneezes spits laughs or talks symptoms a bad cough that lasts 3 weeks or longer pain in the chest coughing up blood or sputum that is mucus from deep inside the lungs severity spinal pain back pain and stiffness joint damage swelling of the membranes that cover your brain that is meningitis liver or kidney problems heart disorders etc bcg is a vaccine for tuberculosis it cannot always protect people from getting tb therefore other vaccines are under development bcg is live attenuated vaccine see this table carefully you will find that except tetanus all the other diseases are communicable that is mode of transmission is person to person through droplets in the ear by coughing and sneezing main symptoms of those diseases are fever and cough different different bacteria are involved for these seven types of disease dtap is used for diphtheria tetanus and pertussis diphtheria and tetanus are toxoid type whereas pertussis is either inactivated whole cell or as cellular that is purified protein vaccine among all the seven diseases types of pertussis vaccine are inactivated or purified protein in case of pneumococcal hib and meningococcal disease types of vaccines are either polysaccharide or conjugate bcg vaccine is the only live attenuated vaccine against tb which is not 100% effective so other vaccines are under development against 
TB. Antimicrobial or antibiotic resistance is one of the major global concerns. Vaccines can reduce dependency on antibiotics. Vaccines can play an important role to limit the increase of antibiotic resistance microorganisms. I hope you liked my presentation. Thank you very much for watching this video. Kindly like, share and subscribe this channel. Take care. Bye bye.